Hey and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have an unhaul video for you. A lot of these books I've read, some of them I have not. I just kind of sat in my room the other day and I kind of peeked through things. I like read some first chapters of things, read some first few pages of things just to see what I was feeling on some of these books. I'm trying to be really realistic on did I buy books because they were cheap or am I genuinely interested in them. So I have a majority, most of these books are books that I've read and then there's just like a few sprinkled through here that I have not. So let's just get started. Um, these books unfortunately are going straight to the library right after I finish filming this. Um, I just feel like the last time things went down with the fact that post offices are not that nice. I'm too scared to send these to somebody and have them get destroyed in the process and have something bad happen. And then, so I, and I'm also one month away from having a baby, so I just don't have the energy and the time and the effort to wait around and have these books in my house. Like, I just want them out of my face <laughs> and into the library. So, unfortunately, these books are all going straight to the library right after I finish this. So, let's just get started. The first book that I have is Broken Beautiful Hearts by Cami Garcia. Um, I wanted more from this book than I got from this book. This is about a domestic like violence issue and I just felt like it didn't get pushed as much as it could have been, especially for a over 400 like page book. Um, I just didn't love it as much so I'm not going to reread it. So it's going to go to the library. My box is over here so I'm going to pack the box as I speak to you. Um, another book that just didn't give it to me is um, How She Died and How I Lived by Mary Crockett. This is a book that I found on Kate's book date. I don't remember if that's what she's called anymore. Um, I think she might just be Kate Winslet. I'm not positive. Um, but she um, recommended this book. It was about a guy who called five girls to come see him. Four of them ignored him. One of them came. He killed her. And now it's kind of the aftermath of what they're going through and what the town was going through. And it just didn't cut it for me. It just didn't give me everything that I wanted. So another book that I don't foresee rereading. Um, this is a trilogy that I read the first book for and I just don't see myself reading on. Um, so that was True Love by Jude Devereaux. Then I have For All Time and Ever After. I read the first book during the Golden Girls Readathon, and I didn't realize there was a paranormal aspect in this, and this really dragged out. So I'm like, why am I going to force myself through two other books just because I have them? I got them for a dollar each. It's not the end of the world. So I'm going to be getting rid of these three. Um, a book that I have not read is um, The Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Noel. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this book, and so I feel like once I finally got my hands on it, it has sat here for about over almost two years now. I've read the first chapter-ish, and I just, I didn't find myself caring. I didn't find myself intrigued, and I just, it's gonna go. Um, then I'm getting rid of Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This might actually go straight to the garbage. Maybe not. It's actually not as bad conditioned as I thought it was. My mom spilt coffee all over the bottom of it when she read it. And it's been sitting in the box set, just like sitting there. And I, she always said that she would buy me a new one. I'd be like, no, 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 no. And then I found Mockingjay for like 50 cents in perfect condition at the library last time I went. So I got it. And it's so funny because this actually isn't as damaged as I thought it was. So probably a silly purchase, but I don't need two copies now. So now this one can go. Um, a book that I DNF'd was... Um, the Last Equation of Isaac Severy by Nova Jacobs. This was in, I want to say, my last vlog where I started this. I picked up the first chapter and I just did not like it. So it's also going to go. Um, I just read A Mother's Reckoning by um, Living in the Aftermath of Tragedy by Sue Klebold. I just don't foresee myself rereading it. I don't see myself gravitating towards it again. Uh, I don't see it as a book that I just need to have on my shelf, so it's going to go back to the library. Well, not back to the library. I didn't get it at the library, but it's going to go to the library. Um, Shelter in Place by Nora Roberts. This is, I normally keep all of Nora Roberts' books, but I just don't have the room to keep hoarding all of her books. I didn't enjoy this one. It is about a mall shooting, and I thought it was going to be really, really good, but it ended up being really, really slow and just not that exciting, so I gave, I'm going to give it away. 
Um, a trilogy that I like thought I would keep because I always like anticipated potentially reading the spinoff, and I just don't. And I have another trilogy, another series by her that I like, so I think that's why I was like, oh, I'll just keep all of her books. But I just no, there's not enough room, not enough space to keep everything. So I'm gonna bring back the Switch series. I got these for like a dollar fifty or something like that because they were fifty cents, and I got them for a quarter. So I actually got them for seventy five cents. So they're not hurting me on to get rid of them so they were fun I enjoyed them while I read them but I don't foresee myself rereading them ever unfortunately there's some books from the fiction guild which I just have no interest in the um warrior maiden by Melanie Dickerson this is like a millionth book in a series of fairy tale retellings that are Christian fiction I've gotten rid of the other ones I just I've tried to read them I don't like them and then The Castle and the Rise by Christy Cambron. This is the second book in a series, and I never got the first book, or if I did, I didn't read it. Um, so I don't want to hold on to book two, and I'm not going to go out of my way to purchase book one. It's the hard part about unsolicited books is, like, you never know what you're going to get sometimes. <laughs> Um, the every fit the every 15 minutes, every 15 minutes by Lisa Scotland. You can see that I do have a Lisa Scotland collection started, but I really didn't like this one, and it's over it's like almost 500 pages, if not more. No, it's 430, but it feels like a beast. I'm never gonna reread this. I didn't find it that enjoyable. I think I gave it like three stars. I didn't really like it, so it's going to go to the library. Um some more books that I just did not care for. Um, Peach Cobbler Murder by jo Joanne Fluke. This is like the 10th book in a series. Not going back to the beginning. Not going to continue. It's going to go back to the library. Roman Crazy by Alice Clayton and Nina Bocci. I just didn't care for it. I felt like it could have been really a lot cuter than it was. I felt like it could have been really more a lot more atmospheric. I just didn't care for it. It just... I don't need it. Then a book that I pre-ordered this year and was really excited for. This is um, Forget You Know Me by Jessica Strasser. I have another book by her on my shelf that I really enjoyed. Um, not that you can, not that I could tell. Loved that book. Well, I didn't love it, but I gave it four stars. Really enjoyed that one. Really disappointed by this one. Just didn't get anything out of it. So taking up space, and I don't need to have everything by every author. So it's gonna go. I might actually need a second box. Yikes. Um, Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. I just don't foresee myself rereading this. This is another one that was supposed to be like this intense read. I think I still gave it four stars, but like I just, I don't foresee rereading it. And then For Real by Cher Allison Cherry. I got this from Ollie's a while ago. It was a quick, enjoyable, road trippy, like, um, the, what's it called? The, like the longest race or something like that. Um, it was similar to that, like, they had to, like, race other teams around the world following clues and things like that. It was fun, but I just, not going to reread. Um, another one that kind of kills me, there's a couple in here that, like, I literally just bought, and I just, I'm not going to continue. Ten Beach Road by Wendy Wax. I thought I could continue, but then I thought back of, like, how this one kind of dragged out, and, like, this was good. I gave it four stars. I just don't foresee continuing the series. I feel like if I keep it on my shelf, I'm going to feel like I need to continue the series, so it's going to go before I get guilted into continuing for no reason. Um, I did not read this book, and that is Watch Me Disappear by Janelle Brown. I picked up the first chapter not really intrigued anymore. I picked it up thinking that I was going to like it because of the fact that um, it was a thriller I'd been seeing it everywhere, but right after I bought it, all this bad stuff came out about it, like that people weren't liking it, and like I know that I don't always agree with what people don't like, but I just, the first chapter just didn't hook me, so it's gonna go. Two more books that I got from Fiction Guild that I'm just not going to read. I just, I don't know why. I don't feel a need to keep them, and I don't really have any clue why. You'll Think of Me by Robin L. Ha Lee Hatcher. I started this during the 7 and 7 readathon the summer before we moved in here. We've been here for almost two years. So I started it, never finished it, don't remember what it's about. I'd have to like start all over, not intrigued. And then same thing with this one, Who I'm With, Who I Am With You by Robin Lee Hatcher. I just I don't know why. I have zero interest. 
I think I need to start a new box. Lucky for me, there's another box right here. <laughs> um, two more books that I've read. The Good, Bye, the Good Goodbye by Kara Buckley and The Tea Planter's Wife by Dylan, Dina Jeffries. I gave both of these, I think, four stars, but I just, I don't foresee going back to reread them anytime soon so somebody else can enjoy them. Um, I just bought this, I feel like, but granted I got it for a dollar, so I'm not, it's not the end of the world. Um, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. I just started to try to read the first chapter, and I just should have done that when I was at the library, but I didn't, and now I'm not interested. Um, The Summer That Made Us by Sarah, by Sarah, by Robin Carr. I just, this one didn't hit me in the feels. This one needed to hit me in the feels for me to really love it and push it over the top, and I just, it didn't. So I feel like I'm not going to keep picking this author up, and I just have no interest. So it's going to go to the library. Um, A Good Killing by Alison Leota. I really enjoyed this book, but it's like the third book in the series or something like that, and I never went back to the beginning, and I don't feel like I'm going to continue, so it's going to go back. I don't know why I keep saying back. Most of these did not come from the library. Um, Perfect Days by Rafael Montes. I got this book on the cheap and I haven't wanted to pick it up since because I've not heard good things about it. So when I not when I don't hear good things about books, I look at them on my shelf and go, hmm, I heard that there's like bad things about that. I don't feel like sitting and reading a bad book right now. So it kind of has that like unfortunate like wrap to it that like I can't get my head past. I'd rather read other things that I always pass this one up. So I don't plan on reading that one. The Last Resort by Marissa Stapley. I just got this from Target this summer. Unfortunately, this was not that great. And I definitely won't be rereading this one. So it might as well go to somebody who might enjoy it. Last four, guys. Um, The Long Walk by Stephen King. I just didn't enjoy it. And Velocity by Dean Koontz. They were okay. I just don't foresee rereading them. I like those editions. I just don't foresee rereading them or like collecting them as authors. And An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. I read this as an audiobook and I have a feeling that that's why I didn't enjoy this, but I didn't enjoy it and I don't want to reread it because I know what happens. And The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. I fell into the trap of not liking this while everybody else loved it. So. Those are all the books that I am bringing to the library. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys really soon. Bye, everybody.